name is Josh Williamson and welcome to my next Keto Vlog. In this video, what we're gonna talk about is cheating. Should we cheat? Can we cheat? That is the big question that's on everybody's minds that I've been reading in the comment sections lately and I'm here to answer that. But before I answer that, I just wanna tell you, give you guys a big, 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 big round of applause for watching my last video. I got an overwhelming response of people watching the video and commenting, asking all sorts of questions and your answers will come to you in the following videos. That is, it's just great. I'm just, I'm just loving this that you guys wanna follow me on my journey. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is a little bit about myself and what people might not know. Uh, first thing is that I'm a single dad of these two very beautiful girls. And this is why I'm doing this. I want to show them and everybody else, obviously, about health and fitness. Uh, I don't put my kids on a keto diet, but they do. Are they are learning about keto and they are learning about different kind of diets, and that we don't really want to be on a diet. We want to be. We want to join a lifestyle, and I think that's the most important thing is to be joining lifestyles, not diets. And so, which brings me to another part of this is, I really just don't want to look like that guy anymore because that was a little while ago, and I don't want to look like that. I don't want to even want to look like this. I want to look better. I always want to have a better version of myself. And that's what I want you guys to think too, is never compare yourself to other people, uh, magazines and videos and that type of stuff. Always compare yourself to yourself. You always want to be a better version of you. And so now that that's been said, without further ado, let's get into the cheating part. Can we cheat? Oh. First one other thing I want to say is, if you are just starting keto right now, don't cheat. So far, I've been on keto for two months, I haven't cheated yet. Zero. I have already made enough mistakes that is like cheating because you need to understand sugars and stuff like that. That is gonna be in the next video is actually gonna be talking about sugars, but I'm doing more and more research. Every time I research sugar, it brings me to some more. So, but let's keep talking, let's, let's not get distracted, I digress. Let's talk about cheating. There are some ways that you can cheat within your diet without falling out of ketosis. Now, that being said, you cannot eat any sugar or carbs, high carb, carbohydrate foods and stuff like that. But what you can eat is different stuff like fat bombs. And so because I haven't been able to memorize all of these things, I actually have them all saved here on my phone for all the research that I've been doing. And so it goes as, so a lot of these things are actually no bake. So that's actually really helpful as well. And uh, I'm gonna name off some recipes and then in the description below, you guys can actually make these things yourself. And not only that, in some of the following videos coming up, I'm going to make them myself and I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. So first off, you can make the no-bake, low-carb, strawberry, lemon, cheesecake treats. Why? Because lemon is good, strawberry in small amounts is good, and cheesecake is, or you can have cream cheese. So, and it's very good for your fat. And so if you want to have that, you know, in, in your day, then obviously you're going to bring, get up to that 70, 75, 80, whatever your percent of body is, I mean, of fat that you need. Uh, the next thing on the list is your keto vanilla pound cake. And so with your vanilla uh, pound cake, you're going to be using um, like an almond flour and that's going to help you as well to stay down on your carbohydrates. It's very good for you and it's going to do the exact same thing. It's, you're going to be able to get your fat content up as well. And that gets on to the vegan coconut macarons. Obviously you can have coconut as long as it's unsweetened coconuts. And the chocolate on that is going to be something like a you're gonna use cocoa or you can use baker's chocolate there is baker's chocolate out there that you can get see this one right here use that and you can get that at walmart for about four bucks and you're able to make us chocolate treats out of that the next one on the list is your grain-free maple pecan cheesecake bars so we're getting back into the cheese cheese uh into the cream cheese and that's really it and it really is good for you to have that and pecans you can have as well just as always just make sure that every kind of nuts and fruits and all that kind of stuff there is going to be a little bit of natural sugars so just make sure you don't go crazy it's like a diet i mean it's like a cheat day right so there you go you're cheating a little bit sort of but not exactly and then you can do 
Um, the next one on the list is the cocoa butter keto blondies. And the coconut, the, the co cocoa butter keto blondies, these are like basically like a fudge and it's made with uh, eggs and like a coconut, a, a coconut cream. And the next one, and the last one on the list here is awesome. This is the keto low carb butter pecan ice cream. Yes, ice cream. I have an ice cream shake that I make too. It's a chocolate ice cream shake and it is out of this world. It, I actually feel like I'm 100% cheating on my diet because I love ice cream and I'll put that recipe down below. It's just not on my, my list, but it's on here. And those are the things that you can cheat with. Uh, obviously, I, I see a lot of people talking about pork rinds. You can eat those too as well. Those are the desserts that I recommend if you want to cheat. You have a sweet tooth and you want to eat something, eat that. If you're more of a savory person, obviously you can just, it's, it's a little bit easier because you can just go with any kind of meat you want to eat. You want to eat chicken wings, eat chicken wings. Don't deep fry it because you don't need that. You don't need canola oil or any of that stuff into your diet. It's not good for you. And, uh, but just bake them, right? And like last night I had, diet. that was my cheat last night was I had chicken wings. It's not really cheating, is it? Because I, you need the fat and you need the protein. So it's there for you. Just don't take too much protein in, right? So <clears throat> that's really all I have to say about cheating. Uh, so make sure you don't cheat. You're going to fall out of ketosis. So one more thing that I do want to mention though is when you become keto adapted, let's talk that may, may take you about eight weeks, but you need to test yourself. Test, make sure that you are in ketosis. And so if you want to start with the peace trips, do that, but end up going into the blood analysis because that's going to help you. And you can test uh, glucose and you can test uh, your ketones. So there's two different monitors that will do that for you. And there are some multi-monitors out there that will do glucose and ketones. But I haven't researched those 100% yet. So, but in the videos up, up and coming, I'm actually going to go through uh, the blood test the urine test and the breath test. And that's gonna be a whole nother video altogether. So when you become keto adapted, that's what I wanna talk about. When you become keto adapted, that is when you can actually start to do a little bit more cheating on your diet. That's when you can actually have some sugar. But you need to know if you are keto adapted and it takes about eight weeks, but you need to be eight weeks of not falling out of ketosis before you can do that. So, but once that happens, then you're gonna be good to go. So anyways, you guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video because I am going to end the video right here. If you guys like this video, leave a like right now. If you guys not subscribed, you should subscribe right now. Hit those notifications so you can see upcoming videos. I want to see you guys in that comment section. You guys are going to see me in my next video. Take care, everybody. Love y'all.